Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about hypec therapy. So what is hypec therapy? The full form of hypec therapy is hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. So what does it mean? It means that the chemotherapy agent is heated to a temperature of 41 to 40 degrees, 43 degrees centigrade and it is put inside the patient's abdomen and it is circulated at that temperature and that temperature has to be maintained which is the most important part of hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy that is hypec therapy. Is hypec therapy done alone? The answer is no. Hypec therapy is always associated or given along with cytoreductive surgery that means a surgery which lasts for around 5 hours wherein we remove all the cancer cells from the abdomen and then we instill hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. So what are the cancers in which hypec therapy can be used? Can it be used in all cancers? No, it cannot be used for all cancers. It is used for only selected cancers like ovarian cancers, that is the female uh, genitourinary cancers, appendix cancer, pseudomyxoma peritonei, that is a cancer of the peritoneum of the abdomen. In selected cases of stomach cancers, and most importantly colon cancers. So these are four or five most important organs in which hypec therapy is given. In all other organs hypec therapy is still questionable. There are certain things that we need to know about hypec therapy especially with regards to its risk and some complications. So hypec therapy is associated with lot of electrolyte imbalances like sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, a lot of calcium electrolyte imbalances occur. Also fluid imbalances occur in which patients blood pressure can go down because of loss of fluid. Kidney issues can come up because a lot of fluid imbalances happen and kidney can go into shutdown and that is why it is important to maintain a good urine output during hypec therapy and also after. The white blood cell count that is the immunity uh, of the body goes down after hypec therapy and that is why all of these things have to be very closely managed. That is why I would suggest that a hypec therapy of your near or dear one should happen only at a center which is well equipped for hypec therapy since that center has good experience and it can manage all these complications. Our experience at Sanar International Hospital has been very good as far as hypec therapy goes. Our patients have lived for more than 5 to 10 years even in late stage 3, stage 4 cancers. So, I would say that hypec therapy is a very good therapy but it should not be done for all kinds of cancer. It should be done for only selected cancers and our experience has been immensely good at Sanar International Hospital. Thank you.